Hello, everyone. Another Halloween book today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And this one is about some sheep. So it's called Sheep, Trick or Treat. It's written by Nancy Shaw and it's illustrated by Margot Apple. I am curious to see what Sheep, Trick or Treat is all about. It says for Margaret, that's the author. For Jack Werner and Pixie Lar and the kids at the Harbor Children's Center. That's the illustrator. As the Halloween moon rises, sheep are fixing up disguises. They make a mask with glue and tape and a monster suit with a shiny cape. Sheep snip and sew and drape a costume for a giant ape. Sheep shape wool in pointy clumps to make a dinosaur with bumps. Sheep rip scraps from mummy wraps. Sheep pose in spooky clothes. This looks like a ghost, a vampire, a dinosaur. What, this is a big ape and a mummy. Sheep take lanterns arm in arm. They set off for a nearby farm. In the woods, they give, give three cheers. A sleepy wolf perks up her ears. Sheep amble to the dell. They reach the barn and ring the bell. Sheep bleat, trick or treat. Animals give them things to eat. The horses' treats go in with thumps, apples, oats, and sugar lumps. Spiders give a dried up fly. Sheep decide to pass it by. Sheep stop by the chicken coops. Chickens give them fresh eggs. Oops. Cows offer hay and clover. Now the trick-or-treating's over. Back through the woods, the sheep parade. It's dark, but they are not afraid. Rustling noises come from trees. Is someone there or just a breeze? Wolves peek out from hiding places. Wolves see scary lit up faces. Wolves skedaddle, sheep skip past. They settle down with treats at last. Sheep trick or treat. Well, that was a cute little story. If you like it, please press like at the end. I never saw any sheep make costumes and go trick or treating, have you? See you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks, and thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.